So here we have our solar watering system. Um, starting off, we have our holding tank or our water tank where the cows can water from. That there we know can handle 20 cow-calf pairs. That has two floats. Um, one of the things that we learned is because we don't have very much pressure, um, we have to use a lot larger pipes to uh, fill the tank with to allow for to be a, a good flow. We then go into our two holding tanks. So we have two 1,000 liter tanks here that hold water. So as the cows are, are drinking, uh, they're replenishing the tank. From the tank, we have inside a bilge uh, float. So it's just from a local uh, boat shop that has bilge floats. We turned it upside down so that it turns on when the water's full and turn, oh, sorry, turns off when the water's full, turns on when it gets low. That is hooked into the controller for the solar watering system. Uh, the controller, the solar panels, the uh, pump all came as a kit. We just had to wire in uh, the batteries. Uh, the instructions for the kit even showed how to hook the whole batteries up, you know, if you want to put them in series or in parallel, um, be it you want to go at 12 volts or 24 volts. The pump we selected uh, is relatively slow volume. Uh, it can pump at a very high head. So this pump is rated for 100 feet. Uh, so we don't have to worry about how far away the solar water is from the river or what the change in height is from the water level. Uh, and because it is not a high volume, uh, we've put the two tanks on so that it can easily handle the cattle coming and the pump can more than easily fill the two tanks back up after the cows finish watering. Uh, we have it in a location that we try to have it set up so that we can do multiple paddocks off of the same location. So we'll just move the electric fence from the left side of the water to the right side and that allows us not to have to move it as much. Uh, we keep it simple. Uh, we just bought a 100 foot garden hose and put that on. Um, got looking into buying all kinds of different wires um, to hook the pump in. It's cheaper just to go and buy a 100 foot extension cord from your favorite hardware store um, to plug the pump in. It uh, is a relatively simple project. If it hadn't been for the fact of getting uh, the solar controller, the solar panels and the water pump all as a kit, that was the most complex part of it and buying it as a kit made it really, really easy.